Hi everyone, this is lesson 5.3, graphs of rational functions of the form f of x equals to ax plus b divided by cx plus d. Most rational functions are in the form f of x equals to b over cx plus d and f of x equals to ax plus b divided by cx plus d, where a, b, c, d are real numbers. Both of them have a vertical asymptote and a horizontal asymptote. Vertical asymptotes can be determined directly by figuring out the zeros in the denominator. So in other words, we make the denominator equal to zero. The horizontal asymptote can be determined by studying the leading coefficient of the number and denominator. So in this case, the horizontal asymptote would be A over C. Let's take a look at example one from learning resources. It asks us to find the characteristic needed to sketch the graph y equals to 2 over x minus 3. Well, first we have to find what the domain is. And I already mentioned that in order to find the domain, we have to know what is not in the domain, which is the asymptotes. So we make the denominator equal to 0. So x minus 3 equals to 0, therefore x equals to 3, and that would be the asymptote. And that's the thing that the domain does not include. So the domain equals to x belongs to all real numbers, such that x cannot equal to 3. For the y-intercept, what we do is we make x equal to 0, because at the y-axis, x equal to 0, and we see what we get for f of 0. And we get negative 2 over 3, so the y-intercept is negative 2 over 3. For the x-intercept, we make f of x equal to 0. However, in this case, f of x cannot be equal to 0 because f of x equals, no, sorry, because the numerator of f of x is 2. Therefore, there is no x-intercept. Now let's try to figure out the equation of the asymptotes. The zero of the denominator is 3, therefore there's a vertical asymptote at x equal to 3, and we already determined that when we try to determine the domain. The degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. Thus, the horizontal asymptote exists because the leading coefficient is 0 for the numerator and the denominator is 1. Therefore, the horizontal asymptote is 0. Now we have to figure out the negative and positive intervals. We cannot look at x equal to 3 because it does not exist there, because x equal to 3 is not in the domain. Therefore, let's look at x is less than 3. We get a negative value, doesn't matter what number we plug, as long as, it's x, that, as long as x is less than 3. And for x is positive 3, we get a positive value. And next, we can graph it out, and it will look something like this with a vertical asymptote of x equal to 3 and a horizontal asymptote of y equals to 0. And here we have our y-intercept. So where is the function? Is it increasing and decreasing? Think about that for a moment. When you look at the graph, you may have noticed that there is nowhere on the graph where the function is increasing, and there is nowhere in the graph where the function is constant. So people might think that it is decreasing everywhere. But that's not true because it is not decreasing at x equal to 3. In fact, there is no value at x equal to 3. Therefore, the function is decreasing at x is less than 3 and x is bigger than 3, but not at x equals to 3. So that's the end of this lecture. Thank you for watching. Remember that practice makes perfect, so please do your assignments and upload them for your teacher to mark. And I'll see you guys next time.